Using scavenged parts from iconic aircraft, such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the NASA T-38 Talon, and the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, the X-59 looks unlike any aircraft that's come before it. In fact, its front is so long and so aerodynamically sleek that its cockpit can't even accommodate a forward-facing window. Instead, pilots only have a direct view out the sides, while relying on a giant 4K screen to see what's in front of them. All of this is designed to shape the X-59 into a supersonic silencer. Flying at Mach 1.4, NASA and Lockheed Skunk Works hope you will never hear their new Frankenstein plane coming. At Dark Tech, we thrive on tactical combat and epic confrontations, and what better way to immerse ourselves in such battles than with Raid Shadow Legends, the RPG phenomenon taking the world by storm with its PC-quality visuals and a staggering roster of over 750 champions prepare to be thrust into pulse-pounding warfare against the sinister Dark Lord Siroth. Scan our QR code and play now. The game is completely free to play on Android, iOS, and PC, and perfect for a quick skirmish. And if you're anything like us, you're in for an adrenaline-pumping challenge. Raid Shadow Legends offers some of the most gratifying endgame content around, including the dreaded Doom Tower. Ages ago, the Arbiter clashed with the world's most harrowing creatures and imprisoned them within the massive structure. Now, thousands of years later, the Arbiter's power to maintain the tower's protective wards is fading, and it's up to you to face the horrors of the Doom Tower to keep its powerful prisoners in check. But be warned, ascending the Doom Tower is no easy feat. It demands more than brute force. Strategic prowess is key. Simple hack and slash won't get you very far in its upper levels. You must gear up your champions, mastering elemental resistances and combat buffs. Our friends at Raid Shadow Legends have a gift to aid your ascent. Sun Wukong, the legendary Monkey King from Chinese lore. Log in between now and October 23rd to take advantage of his unique martial arts abilities, and you will be one step closer to conquering the Doom Tower. Don't let this golden opportunity go. Craft an unstoppable team and conquer the Doom Tower. Use our link in the description or scan our QR code to get insane bonuses like the epic champion Talia from the Sacred Order faction. Scan our exclusive QR code and play now. Supersonic Mission Since the advent of supersonic fighters during the Cold War, the US and other post-war allied nations commenced to develop commercial airplanes with supersonic capabilities. Nevertheless, this type of civilian transport was soon banned due to the high noise the airplanes produced. In 1973, the United States Federal Aviation Administration banned all commercial supersonic flights over land. Such a ban was one of the main reasons the Transocean Concorde supersonic flights from 1976 to 2003 became unsustainable, leading to its retirement. The Concorde was a commercial supersonic transport developed in an Anglo-French effort to travel from Europe to the U.S. Although the concerns regarding the supersonic boom remained, there's been a resurgence in supersonic travel, leading to a new partnership in the United States. The X-59 Quiet Supersonic Transport, or Quest, was conceived in 2018 after a partnership between NASA and Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Program team, Skunk Works. The program aimed to develop an experimental aircraft capable of supersonic speed without generating a supersonic boom, the loud explosive noise caused by the shockwave of an aircraft traveling faster than the speed of sound. The venture between Skunk Works and NASA, also known as the Low Boom Demonstrator Project, seeks to reach supersonic speeds without the sonic boom disturbing civilians. The Quest project is not focused on producing an aircraft that can carry passengers, but on developing a working technology that can be used for that purpose in the future. Coming up with such an experimental aircraft would not be easy or cheap. The contract to design and build the prototype was over $250 million. Making the prototype The X-59 will open the door to a new global market for aircraft manufacturers and reduce travel times for commercial passengers worldwide, taking a new step in the history of aviation. The aircraft is expected to reach Mach 1.4 or 925 miles per hour, cruise at altitudes of over 55,000 feet, and only create 75 perceived decibel levels, a measure of perceived loudness equivalent to a car door closing or a conversation in a restaurant. The X-59 is expected to have a final length of 99 feet, a height of 14 feet, and a length of 29 feet. 
it will have a maximum design gross weight of 25,000 pounds, a fuel capacity of 8,700 pounds, and a payload of 600 pounds. Following Skunk Works selection to build the design and fly it in 2018, the company revealed, in June 2019, study results and concepts for the aircraft. In December 2019, the X-59 was awarded the What's New Award by Popular Science in the aerospace category. The final assembly of the X-59 was completed in October 2021, including the nose and subsystems. A year later, the X-59 successfully completed critical structure load and fuel calibration testing, according to Lockheed Martin. The Cockpit NASA's X-59 quiet supersonic technology aircraft features a unique cockpit. It does not feature a forward-facing window. Instead, the test pilot is greeted by a 4K monitor that serves as the central window and allows him to safely see traffic in his flight path. Yvette Smith, NASA editor, writes that the monitor provides additional visual aids for landings and takeoffs. Smith specified the 4K monitor is part of, quote, the aircraft's external visibility system, or XVS, which displays stitched images from two cameras outside the aircraft, combined with terrain data from an advanced computing system. The cockpit does have real windows in the form of two portals and a traditional canopy, Smith points out, and they help the pilot see the horizon clearly. The displays below the XVS provide additional aircraft systems and trajectory data for the pilot to see and fly safely. The XVS is one of several innovations tailored for the X-59 shape to reduce sonic boom. Prepared for takeoff. Besides its unique fuselage and cockpit, the X-59 is more recognizable for its wing, which, according to Lockheed Martin, was the most complicated section fabricated by the company and required robotic machines. The tail assembly contains the engine compartment and is built with heat-resistant materials that protect the X-59 from the heat given off by the aircraft's powerful General Electric F-414 engine fitted in the upper section of the fuselage. The 13-foot-long engine can deliver 22,000 pounds of thrust and take the X-59 to supersonic speeds with as little noise as possible. During a May 2022 press release, NASA said, quote, Through Quest, NASA plans to demonstrate that the X-59 can fly faster than sound without generating the loud sonic booms supersonic aircraft typically produce. This thunderous sound is the reason the U.S. and other governments banned most supersonic flight over land. In June 2023, Lockheed Martin published pictures of the latest work done on the supersonic aircraft, noting it was only a matter of time before ground tests began. One tweet specified the aircraft had been moved to a run stall on the flight line at Palmdale for vibration and ground testing. First Flight During the 50th anniversary of the ban on commercial supersonic travel over land in April 1973, NASA provided some insightful news about the progress of the Quest mission. According to the press, the agency plans to fly an X-59 test aircraft to Mach 1.4 for noise trials this year. NASA personnel highlighted the X-59 noise trials will be used to gather data to analyze if it's feasible to make supersonic operations over the ground. After years of hard work, it seems that NASA and Skunk Works still continue to make progress in the almost 100-foot-long aircraft. Following the installation of the tail section in late March 2023, NASA confirmed the X-59 would be tested over an expected nine-month period. The initial phase will include safety and performance tests. Once the trial period concludes, Lockheed Martin will deliver the aircraft to NASA by mid-2024. NASA and its specialized personnel will lead phase two of the testing. NASA will fly the aircraft at the supersonic test range over the Armstrong Flight Research Center and Edwards Air Force Base in California. If successful, the tests will prove that supersonic technology works as intended, and the X-59 is safe for operations. The third phase will begin in 2025, and is expected to last until 2026. It will comprise flight trials over different United States cities to gather more aircraft performance data. American citizens exposed to these types of flights will also be surveyed to gather their responses regarding the reactions to the sound emitted from the new supersonic flights, which allegedly mitigate noise. These last surveys will become critical to reconsider lifting the ban of 1973. 
The data will be shared with the National Airspace System and other international regulators. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this Dark Tech video. Remember, you have until October 23rd to claim Sun Wukong by logging into the game. Additionally, you can use our link in the description or scan our exclusive QR code to get even more amazing bonuses as you start your adventure. See you in the Doom Tower.